Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'll be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 7.1 through iOS 7.1.1 using the Pongu jailbreak system. Now the Chinese developers over at Pongu have been working hard and diligently to release a fully untethered jailbreak for all devices such as the iPhone 5S and the iPad Air. So you first want to go ahead and plug your device into your computer via USB. So plug the one into your device and the other end into your computer. Now as of right now, this is only a Windows based operation, although a Mac compatibility is in the works and will be released in the near future. So if you head over to their website, pongu.io.com, you can see all the listed devices that are supportive along with a download link that you can go ahead and download and extract that onto your desktop. Now once extracted onto your desktop, you can go ahead and open it up here and you will see that it is in Chinese writing, so if you are familiar with Chinese, good for you. If not, Windows might put some question marks in for that, that's okay. Just go ahead and uncheck that box and then go ahead and hit the black box in the top right hand corner and this will commence the jailbreak to begin working. Now on your device, you will have to change your date and time, precisely the date. So you can see um, the instructions will pop up on the Pongu application, but if you head over to your settings general, go into the date and time and change out the set automatically to June 2nd. Now evidently this is when Apple held their special keynote in June, so just go ahead and set that to Monday, June 2nd. The time does not matter, although the date will matter, and then this will commence the jailbreak to actually begin and start downloading onto your device. So once you have completed the new set date, the Pongu application will continue and you can see the loaded bar and then an app will be created on your iPhone. Now go ahead and click on it. Keep the device connected to your computer and do not close this application at all. It will be needed to run through the entire system as it is opened up. So as you can see, the loaded bar on your computer will again begin to continue. Just leave your iPhone connected. You see it will reboot. I have sped this up about 200 times, about 4x just for your convenience. So you won't have to sit through this. And then once more, your iPhone will begin to reboot, a total of two reboots. And then you should see the Pongu Apple logo pop up and then the original Apple logo. So then you're pretty much done on your computer as it will continue to load all the way out. And you can go ahead and close out of that and the rest of the jailbreak process will be done on your iPhone. So once that is completed, you should see a now fully functional Cydia on your device. You can go ahead and open it up and it will commence the preparing file system. That should take roughly five minutes. And then once that has been completed, you can go ahead and open up Cydia again and at the bottom of my screen you can now see I am running an iOS 7.1 on my iPhone 5S that's a fully functional Cydia so this will work for pretty much all devices um, that are current such as the iPhone 5S, the 5C up into the iPad Air and this will work on all iOS devices running from 7.1 to iOS 7.1.1 like I said before, this is an untethered jailbreak, and if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down in the description below, and I'll be sure to get to them, like always. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.